a new idea will not become part of your common currency of thought until it has been repeated over and over and you begin to live by it. From Neville Goddard's 1968 lecture, Brazen Impudence. And this is why we persist in our imaginings. You can imagine and in a moment feel something. Sometimes it does immediately outpicture. But oftentimes, especially those things that seem more dearer to the heart and seem bigger and far, due to the habit of limiting thoughts and experiences, and thus a new idea is not able to gel and become the common currency. So that's why you persist, to make what was once new, common, natural, which is then often soon met with the outpicturing success. Now Neville tells not to judge anyone who's playing their role. If we really understood the greater picture, we would see even when one seemingly is playing a role that seems bad, something put them in that compulsion. Unless they're guiding their own mind and imagination, they're acting under compulsion. Neville told the story of how he was very young when he first married, around 18. He married a woman who was eight years older than him. And one year later, when he was 19, they had a son. This is before Neville studied with Abdullah, before he knew the law. And he and his wife had separated over 16 years. And then Neville fell in love with who became his lifelong wife, who he shared a daughter with. But at first he couldn't marry her, many know this story. And his first wife did not want a divorce. His dancing partner didn't want Neville to remarry. So she had warned the first wife. So the first wife could make herself scarce. But Neville dealt with it in imagination. What picture would he see if he and his wife were happily married? When he went to bed, he and his wife would be sleeping in their own beds in the same room in his apartment. So every night he would go to bed and imagine that. In around one week's time, his first wife was caught for shoplifting, something she had never done before. But Neville took her defense in court and blamed that she might be going through that change, menopause. And the judge was surprised because Neville didn't use this to get a divorce. And he gave the first wife leniency. And in turn, she appreciated Neville and agreed to give him a divorce. And Neville looked beyond this difficult situation and took it to imagination. He went right to the end. And he slept in there night after night. For him, it took one week. But if it had to take a month or years, I'm sure he would have done it. And he had no judgment on his first wife, for he knew she moved under compulsion. Most people are sleeping, unconscious. And thus, instead of being a master of their fate, they move under compulsion. So this is also why it's good to have a clear idea. What do you want? Some people might not know right this moment, and that's okay. And in that case, if you're happy then just enjoy your happiness. But take note if you find yourself unhappy, and then from that, find out what would make you happy instead, and then you start to know what you want. So if we believe what Neville and similar mystics are saying, all the things that have happened, we judge no one. They acted under compulsion. If it was things that did not bring us happiness, usually we have to point the finger back to ourselves, something unconscious. We may not have remembered when we planted the seed, but instead of getting upset and perpetuating the harvest, use it to find what we do want and move to solutions, to happiness. Oh. Ooh. How's it 
too much, baby. There's some pepper. Okay. Uh, you know, you like some garlic? Uh, no. Yeah, no corn. Wow, how do I eat this, honey? Wow, look at the spoon. Far out. <laughs> wow. I don't I don't even know where to Oh, two should be. Karage. I love karage. Wow. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 Wow, gyoza. Around eighteen dollars. Not bad for two meals and all oh, this. Yes. You have a Neville goes on to say, There is no limit to the power of belief or to the possibilities of prayer, but you must be brazenly impudent and not take no for an answer. Try it. When I say you are all imagination, I mean it. While standing here on the platform, I can, in a split second, imagine. I am standing on the outside, looking at this building, or in another second, be in London and view the world from there. You say that's all hallucination. That is all in my imagination. So Neville's telling you to practice this art of movement. Neville used to do this in his apartment in New York City. He would be sitting in one room, and then imagine he's in another room. What room are you in right now? You can close your eyes, or if you prefer to keep them open, imagine you are in a different room. And with practice, you can feel its reality and imagination in the split of a second. And as you develop this imaginal muscle, you can then use it for anything your heart's content. No, don't say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? It's closed? Yeah. How do you know? Yeah, there. There's no donut? No donut. <laughs> Not even Today. one? All right. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing? Yeah, almost nothing. She's uh, taking it out. Oh, she's it taking out. it out? Yeah. No, no, Toshi. Uh, what can we do? Drink or something? Oh, honey, I'm sad. After them, too. Huh? No, she's just combining them. Ask, 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 ask. I think she's just combining them. No, your brother won't. Your mom and brother won't like that, will they? Huh? 
It's okay, this is okay. Huh? I wanted it's the one okay, on I, I wanted the one on Terebi. Oh, that cream one looks good. I'll have that cream one. Oh, can you get a bowl? Hurry, oh, hurry. TV. Oh, okay, let's get 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 a, get a plate, Toshi. Mm -hmm. Hurry, get a plate. Chan. Uh, which one was on TV? Okay, get one of those. Uh -huh. hey, Oh, it's all machine. Ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, not really. I don't think I'd use it. Well, let me see. Maybe. Okay. All right, you want to go home? It's getting late. Or do you want to shop around or go home? You want to go somewhere? You're such a good hubby. You take me everywhere. Almost everywhere. And Neville has also shared his experiences of imagining to be in other places, and people later telling him that they saw him at the exact date and time. Because Neville is telling you it is all a dream. The night dream is part of the wake dream, which is the dream of life, of the one God dreaming it all. And it is our destiny to wake as a fragmented beings into the one great eternal vast being beyond words. Just like in your night dream, you dream of all kinds of people and places and things. And yet, when you wake, it all dissolves back into your one consciousness. Now, imagine you are somewhere other than where you are presently. It could be another room, another place, maybe another country. And you can go as far as to imagine someone you know seeing you and being surprised at seeing you. And now, let us go into the silence. Well, I couldn't wait, could I, Toshi? You're, you'll have yours tomorrow. Mmm, mm, very spongy and matcha. And very refreshing, spongy. Oh, it's not too sweet. 
It's almost like a touch of mochi. <laughs> Which so funny, honey? Huh? Oh. <laughs> now this is the one I've been waiting for. Mm. It's like a cloud mm -hmm. with an angel in the middle. Wow, that might be one of the best donuts I ever ate. Mr. Donut outdid itself. <laughs>